Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasu Itoy and welcome to Teach Yourself Test Automation. Right? We are going from manual test to test automation. And inside this year, right? Inside this year, it must happen. So we've been consistent about things now. Sorry I've been away for, for so long, but we are ramping things up now and moving towards this dream, right? This this goal, right? This goal of getting into a uh, test automation a test automation engineer and also um, why not uh, become a full stack full stack test uh, test engineer right the front end and, and the back end right so apis and, um, and databases and all that stuff automation works right so last video what did we see we saw how to create a cucumber feature file right so today we are going to uh, see how we create a, 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 te a test definition file test definition file right and then we're going to map our feature file onto the test uh, definition file and that is where the test definition file is going to hold our methods right and our methods are going to execute our our test uh, case that's on the feature file right so let me show you what's going on okay let's go for it so if we go back to eclipse this is what we created yesterday in the video yesterday if you, you haven't watched that uh, there should be a link uh, down below you could go watch how to do that so what we have in our feature file let's just open it just to refresh our memory so our feature file is written in gherkin right plain english language in gherkin and gherkin has some key keywords right key phrases or keywords right so it's a um, feature scenario giving when then right that's a structure in which you write your your um, test cases in gherkin all right, all right. So yeah, this is our feature file. Uh, so remember, we our feature or our feature is all about logging into the demo site, and this demo site is called Orange or Orange HRM demo site, right? And the scenario was successfully, right, managing to successfully log into that site, right? And then the way the Gherkin scripts are written in Cucumber well, Gherkin, um, Gherkin is a, a language that allows you to write cucumber structured well gherkin structured style scripts uh, using cucumber right so given when then right i mean we've talked about this before and also i've got a blog on this if you want to read more, more about this but this is our example feature file right i created this yesterday and there's a blog there to go read about it if you want to read about it right today we are going to see how we can execute if you see the last video there was there were some uh, errors here there were not there were not so much errors there were warnings right so the warnings was oh hang on you've created a file so i see a file i see the instructions i see the test case you've created the test case i see the test case i see the lines of code i mean i see the lines of the test case but hang on i don't have any code to execute this uh, test case right so that's where a step definition file comes in a step definition file holds your methods and then you have to map the methods to this particular lines of a uh, to the particular lines on your test case right which is which is uh, in, on your feature file so once you mark those then when you run your 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 your, your future your your test case your feature your, your feature file it will go fetch the code right and that code will execute this this line of of, uh, of um, test case right or the line on the test case so let's see how we how we go along creating our test definition file right so same thing right we want to create a package we start with the package package first so you know you always create your your package within our our source folder right so the source test java folder that's where you always want to be creating your package right so we right we right right click on that go to new go to package we know this one already so we just say we'll just be original and call it step definition right so step over capital definition step definitions i will step definitions right that will, that will come in uh, down the line you see how um, that plays out right okay so i've done that's plural right so um hit finish on that right hopefully it doesn't this doesn't take too long right okay it's created our package down here right so our package is called step definitions right so in there now we want to clearly create a java class a java class file because that's where we are going to write our code in a java class file to execute our 
test case, which is our future file, right? So we'll go like that. And we want to call this same thing, step definition singular, right? Step definition singular, and you just want to say finish, right? So that's us, we've created our, so this is it. We've created our, our step definition file. And all we have to do now is to see how we can link this file, right, to our our, um, our future file, right? Link this file to our future file, right? So now you use annotations. So the same thing we have on our future file here, right? We represent that on this, and then we're going to write some code, right? So there's a particular structure in which you do your step definition file as well, right? But what you have to start off with to kind of tell your your step definition file where to go, which line of a, a test case you are dealing with, is to use your annotations. So if we go at a rate given, right? So you start with that, right? And usually, usually what you do is it's just a system you follow on how to write the step definition files, right? You open your quotation marks, right? So quotation marks, right? And then you head along to your feature file. And what you're going to use, you're going to use the name of this given, right? So the text, you, the exact text, right? In the given line of a, a test case, you copy that. And you head back onto your te step definition file. Oh, come on. Let's go back as it was, right? You put that in here, right? Right? And then what you have to do now, you have to put this in a regular ex ex a regular expression, right? So you just use a cap, right? This is just a regular expression, so don't worry about that. A cap, and then a, a dollar sign, right? A dollar sign. And then now you want to go out underneath now to write your method, right? You have to write a method, remember, to execute that line of your, your test case, right? So we go public void and then now you can call this a, a, a method any name right any name but the 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 the, the format people normally follow is to follow the exact name of your given or the exact phrase of your given right and then you copy that and then you put this underneath here but you're going to use you're going to use a you're going to use um underscore right so you don't you don't do spaces so you see how it's giving all the uh, the errors right so all you do you do um you underscore the whole thing right you use underscores sorry this is going to take going to take longer than so use underscores this is just a format to follow, right? So there's nothing, nothing on towards here. It's just a format to follow. And then it's when you come to write your code now. Uh, did something go do that? Right, okay, that's done as well. Right, so if you see that, right, that is what you do. So your, your the name of your, your method, and then now you have to open your parenthesis or your, your, your yeah, open and close, right? Here we go. Open and close. Right. And then this is complaining now of something. So let's deal with the given first. So if you hover over the given, you import the given annotation, right? You import that. Right. So that will take away that error first of all. And my computer is being really slow. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully those uh, errors disappear in a wee while because the computer has been very slow. Right? Sorry, that computer has been a bit slow. Right, so I had I have hovered over this, right? And uh, it's not it's not come off. So I've imported it. So here yeah, oh, sorry, I see what is wrong, right? So you need to open and close brackets here, right? And now that's you, right? That's you done. It's still been slow. It's still been slow. Um, mind you, have to have open brackets up here. So it's open and closed. Sorry, you have to have it closed down here. That's it.
So that's all. The error is gone. So if you saw that, because I've not closed my brackets, it errored, right? So just close the brackets. And in between here, this is where you write your code, right? So what would the code be? The code says a uh, user navigates to Orange HRM demo site, right? So in here, you want to write code that says navigate to the Orange HRM site, right? So you have to do this. So we've we've done we used our given at a uh, given annotation to map to our feature file, right? To our feature file, right? So it's mapped to that so and that's what you have to do with the rest of them right so use giving annotation use the when annotation use the then annotation and if there was an and use an and annotation right and that should map it to your to your um to your test definition file right i keep double clicking here i don't know why but the thing is when it comes to run your test case right it goes here i will start with given Right, so it would start with giving and then go to your your step definition file and look for the annotation given. So once it sees the annotation given, the next thing it looks for is the actual the title, right? The title of your test, right? And if that matches, then it's found a match, and then it will execute that, and then it will go on to do the the when and then, right? So let's try and do the when the when and then straight away, right? So you, you've got a drift now, right? So if we go, just put the same, right? We're going to fix this in a wee while, right? We just want to be quick, right? So here will be, uh, we're going to take this off and write when, right? So we're going to write when here. And we want to change this to be exactly the same as this. User enters username and password and clicks on login right so we want to chase change this in between here to be exactly what is on our feature file hopefully you're following all of this and then we want to change the name of our method to be exactly the same as the title of that particular step we are executing right i want to do same here underscores in between every word here, right? Underscores in between every word. That's a bit time consuming, but hopefully this video should not be too long for you. Um, I will go away and come back, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> there we go. So when it's done as well, you just want to hover over just want to hover over this and import the annotations, right? So this one still errors and this one still errors because this one is exactly the same as that. So once we change this to our code on our feature file, then it should all look it should all look swimmingly, right? It should all look good. So we copy this. I think you get the gist now, right? So you know what we're gonna change here. We're gonna change the title of this our step. To be exactly the title of the step in the on the feature file, and also we're going to change the method. What we call the method to be exactly right. So we we'll go underscore 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 <laughs> underscore. This is tedious, isn't it? Underscore underscore there's a way of doing this an automatic way right it's a plugin that you can use to do this right so we will we will check the plugin in the next video right underscore underscore and the last one underscore right and everything is good right it's all good but this is not given right it should not be given because we're gonna have two givens right this should be then right and then we're gonna have to Import our, our our then annotation, right? So now perfect, right? So we have our step definition file, but what we are missing is actual code, 
right? What we're missing is actual code. So in here, we have to write code that makes the, that get, gets the user to navigate to the Orange HRM uh, demo site. And then in here, we'll have to write code that uh, the user uh, enters username, password, and then clicks on the button. And then here, we have to write the code that uh, verifies that the user is actually at the dashboard on uh, the dashboard is displayed when you log into Orange HRM, right? So we'll do that in the in the next video. I will actually put some code in here, okay? So my name is Kevin Owasu-Itoy. I hopefully you found this video uh, useful. And if you have indeed, don't forget to subscribe, follow the journey, uh, and go on your own journey, you know, upskill yourself to, to get to a better platform, uh, a better, um, 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 you know, within your job, within your within your nine to five or, or, or as a freelancer, you know, seek a skill that would bring you some more uh, uh, remunerations, right? And um, that would be better for you and your, your family and, you know, take yourself in a different, different, you know, get multiple streams of income if you so have a nine to five and you do a side gig, right? So my name is Kevin Owasuitoy, signing out.